Today I got a brand new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. I'm going to do a quick memory upgrade. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got a brand new Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Uh, I recently did a video on a Nitro 5, but it had higher end specs. That one, other one had RTX 2060 graphics. This one has the GTX 1650 graphics. It comes with, out of the box, with just eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory. It's got the 9th gen Core i5-9300. It does have um, full 1080p HD display, Wi-Fi 6, backlit keyboard, four cell battery. Nice little laptop. It's got a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD that could be upgraded at some point. But today I'm just going to put more RAM in it. So basically, we're going to I'm going to double it from 8 gigs to 16 gigs. That's what the customer wanted because they just bought it here. So I'm going to do a quick upgrade. So I'm going to shut it down, and I'm going to go inside and pop in the RAM, and it shouldn't take too long. I just want you to see how I do it. So once it goes all the way off here. There, we're good. So I'm going to carefully close the lid. Now before you go inside any laptop, always make sure you're protected against static electricity. Wear a wristband or an anti-static mat or a table. Uh, my bench tops, my floors in my shop are completely anti-static. Now I've already moved all the screws. They're all the same length. I use a, a PH0 or a number zero Phillips screwdriver. Just use a good quality screwdriver so you don't booger up the heads of your screws. So we're going to remove the bottom panel. It's all one piece. I'm going to take my little spudger tool here and get started in the seam here. I kind of already did start here a little bit. So we're just going to work it gently along. You can see the seam here, how it breaks, breaks loose. Just kind of work it real slow with your plastic tool. I don't recommend using a screwdriver or your driver's license. It's not quite stiff enough to get these going here. Plastic is always good. Oop. Good rule of thumb is don't force it. So in the, along the back here, I'm going to get a tool right in here and just kind of pop up the corner to get it started here. Sometimes they're a little stubborn along the back here, so you got to be patient. But it's going to break loose this area right here along the this red part. We got to get that broke loose. So I'm going to gently put a little upward pressure here, gently, and then I'm just going to see if I can pop this up, get that corner started. Same with this one, just like that. Then I'm going to stand it up carefully, and I'm going to get my spudger right in the seam here. You see how I'm doing that? I'm not pushing, I'm just letting the spudger tool do the work, basically. So I'm going to lay it back down. Lifts right off. Now, for what this laptop is, guys, it's got some nice upgrade features. You can put up to like 64 gigs of DDR4. Got two slots. Here's the 8 gig. Stick in it now. I'm going to add a second gig or a second stick of 8 gigs. Um, I always recommend, even though it's a quick, simple little RAM upgrade, to disconnect your battery, which I am going to do just so I can show you how to do it. It's a little bit of a tight fit here, but the battery here connects to the motherboard right here so I'm going to lift up this tape here remember to put that back on here's our battery cable they don't give you a lot of room here guys it's, it's got to slide back towards the battery but if you carefully get a hold of it and I got a plastic tool that I'm using just remember there's power in here so be careful but it just basically pulls straight back and you see it came out fairly easy if you're not sure, you can always take out a couple of screws here. You can lift the battery up and then just kind of pull it back so you got more room to work in there if you need to. Um, <clears throat> so now that I got that disconnected, I am going to open it again though, carefully. And I'm going to hold in my power button a little bit. This always dis discharges any residual juice that might be flowing in the circuits in there before you start poking and prodding around. So now we did that, I'm going to put my other 8 gig stick in. Uh, right here, just like that. Okay, that's just the battery cracking. Um, here's our Wi Fi 6 card, our CPU and GPU, dual fans, our NVMe 
256 gig drive is right here underneath this shield. This also has a combo slot. They'll take a M.2 SATA or an M.2 NVMe drive um, over here. So this has dual M.2 slots, plus it has a two and a half inch bay. The caddy's already screwed in here. The, the uh, SATA cable to hook to the drive would hook right here. And that cable is included in these nitro boxes. All the nitros I've done, the different models, have that capability. So now that we got the RAM, that's pretty much it. I am going to hook my battery back up very carefully. Take my tool. Be careful, really careful with them wires, guys. They're very tiny. Easy to booger up. Just make sure it goes back in all the ways, which it did. Push it down. That's just crunching the tape there, guys. So I'm going to put my tape back over it, though. <clears throat> just to make sure. All right, now I'm going to put the pant bottom cover back on. Should be good. But yeah, a lot of upgradeability here. You can slap another one, a new terabyte in there if you want, or two of them. Sky's the limit, really. So with 16 gigs of RAM, it should be a little bit better. Plus, we're going to achieve dual channel now, too. So I'm going to carefully snap this back in place. Now, when you're squeezing this, always be careful of your top, your screen's back there. Don't squeeze hard here. You can gently along the edges, but just remember your screen's under there, guys. Pop all these seams back closed, just like that. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button here. It says sometimes it, oh, posted right away. Sometimes it takes a minute for them to post the first time, so you got to be patient. So it comes right up. I just want to double check, make sure it's seeing all of it. We can go to task, hit enter. And there we go. We got 16 gigs of 2666 memory. Instead of eight, we're good to go. So that was a quick little memory upgrade. Went from eight to 16 gigs. I uh, appreciate watching. Don't forget to give me a like. If you love the video, give me a sub. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.